everyone and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. This is episode 8. Last time we arrived in Redcliffe and we've been essentially preparing the whole town for battle in the night. We're going to have uh, the zombie hordes on approach. Uh, so we're about to basically uh, talk to Murdoch and say... We're ready to go. Uh, before we do that, I might take uh, just a brief chat with uh, Berwick over here because we haven't had a chat to him since we kicked him out of the pub. I can't believe I'm going to fight. That's what I get for mixing myself up in all this. There you go. <laughs> He's like, I can't believe I'm going to fight. So we just said you can make yourself useful uh, by getting into the fight. Uh, so I feel like we've done a pretty decent job at setting up everybody. We've convinced the blacksmith to help people out. Um, the, we did not get the blessing for the knights from, uh, from the revered mother. Uh, but we, we've done the rest of what we can, I think. Let's speak to Murdoch and let's see how this battle is going to play out. The repairs are underway surprisingly quickly, considering how drunk Owen is. We may just make it. Oh yeah, everyone's drunk, because <laughs> we also bought free drinks, a million free drinks, uh, and the blacksmith is drunk too. Um, so I'm ready to make my stand. Let's wait for sundown. Are you sure? There's still time left if you need to talk with Sir Perth or do anything else. This is our final, like, um, <laughs> are you sure you are ready to proceed? But we are. I'm ready now. Wait for sundown. Then good luck to you. You'll need it. You'll need it. Who's gonna die today? Ooh, the chilling mists are coming in. They're coming! So everybody runs away. Get to your positions! Make ready! Oh, the fucking mists, though, across the bridge from the castle coming in. Interesting. Time, men. The attack. Know that we fight for the maker and our hour. Light the tr Oh, my God. Okay. Jesus. Um. Sheesh. All right. Let's hope that we're... <laughs> let's hope we're, we're going to do well. Um, I feel like we should be okay. I feel like we should be okay. We've got Morrigan with the healing spell now. So any ally with a health under 50% is going to get healed. If Alistair is being attacked by a melee attack, Morrigan's going to freeze him as well. So we can hopefully keep our tank alive and well in the fight. And um, Sten can also have a great job just bashing him too. And I'm going to try and just attack from behind, I suppose. Um, let's see how this goes. And my dog's gonna have a great time too. Oh, the fire! Okay, hang on. Let me figure this shit out. Stun all of them. That's a lot of corpses. I'm a bit stressed. I'm not. Mm. Okay, I think I think we're like health-wise. I think we're, we're 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 doing okay. Let's check in with everybody else. Alistair, how you how you doing over there? Got a few of them. Morgan, Morgan's just chilling. All right, maybe I'm gonna have her cast Winter's Grasp. Just gonna do it. What's my guy doing? He's doing stuff, he's getting healed, that's good. I love that we have a healing spell, it makes me so happy. Just need a pause, just to think. <laughs> it's like the funny thing is just like, just need to think for a second. I think we're, I think it's okay. There's actually so fucking many of them. We're doing okay. I think my dog can do another stun now. Uh, yeah! Stun him again. Oh, stunning them. I think they can take. Oh, stunning them in the fire is great. They take continuous fucking fire damage. That's a great idea. What am I doing? I'm just. My, my rogue is being useless. 
I literally just did a double sweep attack on nothing. I think we're actually fucking gonna win. We're gonna win! Backstab. Oh my god. Was that just the first wave? The monsters are attacking from the lake! Knights, stay here and guard the path. I'm a leader of a dwarf now. Come on, we need to hurry! Oh my god. Stressful! Stressful! Funnily enough, like, I even with the quieter music volume installed, it's still just fucking loud. It's still just way too loud. Oh. Archers! Alright, I'm gonna send my, my dog needs to go in first and do the group stun. Go dog! Do it! Yes! Group stun! Fuck him up! Fuck him up! Another one down! Um, who is where? Morgan's all the way. Oh, all right, Morgan. If you, mm, I'm a bit worried about Morgan's positioning. I'm gonna send you into the fight so you can be closer. That walking corpse, maybe that archer will be fine. Oh, Alistair, Alistair will take care of it. That's fine. See, Alistair took care of it, that's fine. My people are actually alive, which is, uh, which is tremendous. I'm feeling good. Dude, Morrigan freezing people and healing people, I think, is what's, like, really keeping us in the fight here. There are so many people, dude. <laughs> There's still so many, dude. Why am I... Okay, my people are out doing stuff. They are attacking. They're just thinking about it. Oh, shit. Look at all the ones up there as well. What the fuck? This is insane. Oh, well, they killed that archer. I... Yeah, well, he, he stayed on his own. He should have stuck with the group. Holy shit, though. There's so many of them, dude. This battle has gone on for so long, the battle music has run out. It has restarted. Alistair has leveled up. Protect Morrigan! I'm gonna just take the fact that everyone's alive as a pretty fucking amazing achievement so far though. No Morgan! No Morgan! Oh shit. I, I spoke too soon. I totally stopped paying attention to Morrigan. Oops. Damn it, we're so close to having nobody pass out there. Shit. We only lost, like, you know, the other people. <laughs> Fuck. Dawn arrives, and we survive the night. We are victorious. Morgan is so close to surviving <laughs> yeah, that whole victory fight. came at great cost, we must remember none of us would be here were it not for the heroism of these good folk beside me. I thank you, good sir. Truly the Maker smiled on us when he sent you here in our darkest hour. I'm pr I'm pretty happy with that. We like my tactics were set up in a way that I think was was pretty pretty good there.
I think that was good. There is still much more to do, Van Tegan. Surely these people deserve some small celebration, don't you think? There is time yet. Let us bow our heads and give honor to those who gave their lives in defense of Redcliffe. Murdoch of Redcliffe, Mayor and beloved father, we salute you. You and so many others oh, no, who perished here walk oh. with me who is your maker. Long may you know the peace of his love. Damn. Do you reckon that uh, there's a chance for all those people to survive if you're good enough? Or are they scripted deaths in the combat ahead? I'm not sure. A lot of people did die. May their ancestors give them welcome. With the Maker's favor, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your Arl. Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. Now we've no time to waste. Meet me at the mill. We can talk further there. Yeah. All right. In we go. Mabari dominance is now active. Level up for everybody except for Morrigan. Yeah, when we when you're in battle, it's still so crazy loud, even with the quiet one in. And then you get into dialogue, which is maxed out, and it's like quieter than battle. All right, let's level up. God damn it. Uh, we're going to put some points into cunning, I think, for our little rogue. I'm going to get a bit dexterous and two points into that. All right, now this is where we get, this is where it gets interesting. So, um, I, mm, it's, it's, it's interesting what I want here. Um, because improved herbalism, I will be able to make of uh, some better healing things, even though Morrigan is now has unlocked the healing spell, which is very good, even though she couldn't save herself. Uh, Cause I think the tactic is obviously ally under 50%. I don't know if she heals herself. Improved stealing and coercion. I kind of want to have better coercion all the time. Cause dialogue good. Um, hmm. But then uh, it's hard to it's hard to choose. I feel like with the healing that I've unlocked with Morrigan, that kind of allows me to go into something else. So I'm gonna put a skill into improved coercion. Yes, for for my dialogue, I'll be a very persuasive dwarf. Uh, talent, however, coup de gras. When a target's incapacitated, the opportunity rogue strikes where it hurts the most. Automatic backstabs against stunned or paralyzed targets. This is great with my dog ability to stun everyone and my below the belt ability. So you get like automatic backstabs. That's great. But I did say that I, I was going to go for mechanical expertise so I could fucking try and see if I can get these locked chests around Redcliffe open. That Leliana's like, I can do that. And she can't because we're both level two. Um... But then I'm thinking I might, when Liliana can level up, I might give her the level three and I might focus on something else. I'm stealthy enough to try sneaking during combat. It is a significant penalty. I need to get my dual weapon points up with my two weapons. So I'm, I'm torn. And the good thing is, the good thing about being torn on this is I'm like every single skill that I'm seeing that I'm torn on is so valuable. We've got uh, combat ones we've got stealing stuff and we've got like really good like automatic backstabs which is nice it's hard to decide i think i'm going to go for a combat one and i'm going to give leliana the mechanical expertise uh when she levels up so i might do flurry cooldown of 20 seconds is not bad i'm going to do flurry i'm going to do a combat skill okay okay uh, can I get uh, um, Liliana to Vashadan? Indeed. Can people only level up when they're in your party? I would assume so. Can they level up out of your party? Who knows? Uh, considering she has experience 1365 out of 5,000, I'm going to say no. Hmm. So that might be another thing because I need Liliana to level up. I took Leliana out of the party as well and put Sten in there because 
Um, Lord and damnation. Leliana is yes. is not equipped well. She does not have clothing, and I forgot to actually give her better stuff because I just kind of forgot. Um, and I sold my clothing. I sold all my gear, so she's not got good armor on. So I gave it to Sten because Sten is at least dressed up in his better stats. Um, but I will give Liliana um, better gear when I get it. Uh, we're going to give Alistair some strength. But I feel like he needs more health and constitution. Health and resilience because he is a tanky boy. So I'm going to give him two constitution as well. Um, threat and disengage. The warrior seems less threatening, reducing the hostility of nearby enemies who may seek other targets instead. So interestingly enough, he can actually taunt, but then he can also go, you wouldn't attack a guy with glasses, would you? And then everyone else goes in there instead. So that's interesting. Um, I'm going to probably go for shield balance. That's that. Sten, 28 strength, my guy. Should I maybe give some points into maybe like anything else if you've got that much? Maybe I'll give you like two into constitution just to get that to a 15. And maybe, maybe some willpower because you get like some mental fortitude. I don't know. I'm just putting another one to strength. Just fuck it. Just get, be strong, mate. Bravery Warrior. The Warrior's unwavering courage grants bonuses to damage, physical resistance, and mental resistance, as well as a bonus to critical chance that increases proportionally to the number of enemies above two that the Warrior is engaging. Wah. Goddamn. Uh, and there's also, we've got two-handed ones of shattering blows, stunning blows, and two-handed strength. Ooh, reducing penalties to attack and defense from powerful swings is probably a good idea. But what is, what's good about this is again stunning blows when I when I allow my dwarf to learn coup de gras. Automatic backstabs, but we're gonna get this one for now. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I'm def I I might just have a look and observe when we start getting XP for things, and then I'll see if um the XP for other characters um changes, you know. So XP I guess when I get into combat or I do something, I'll... Yeah, considering you can only check XP in here. I'm assuming if the party members are not in the party, they will not gain XP, which is an issue. It means I'm going to have to change my party frequently to get people to uh, to level up. Because I'm pretty sure in Mass Effect, uh, everyone levels up. You don't have to... Um, yeah, in Mass Effect, everybody levels up. You don't have to have them in the party. So I'm I'm questioning that at the moment, if level ups are just party-wide or uh, only who you have active. Thank you so much for what you've done here. We owe you everything. We owe you everything. Yes, but the mayor died. All right, last in the cast. Lost in the castle, I guess we'll make active because we'll be heading to the castle. You told Owen that you would try to find his daughter, Valena. She served the Alessa Isolde, and Owen has not heard from her since the trouble in Redcliffe started. Oh, and then I guess this is the other one, right? Meet at the mill. Van Tegan has a plan for getting into the castle. I guess this is the one we should make active, isn't it? He's waiting for us by the mill. Let's just cross the dialogue bridge. You were very quiet, Stan. Only compared to some. Oh, good talk. Very good. Um. Oh, that side of the mill. All right. I'm like, I'm at the mill, bro. I'm right here. That's right. I got some very rewarding dialogue just there. You're quiet. Sometimes good yeah this is the entrance pathway that we'll take to go to the castle anyway now we haven't been further than this when we got up here we haven't been over to try get to the castle because it would seem sort of redundant well the knights lived ah it is sad to think of how much death there has been here but we have saved the village beyond all expectations. You have done well, my friend. 
I will remain here to guard the village and receive any fellow knights as they continue to return. At least until the castle is retaken. Okay. Word went out to retrieve the Arl's men even more quickly. This battle is but one victory. The battle with the Darkspawn yet remains. I'm glad the fire actually did work against them. <laughs> and it did fire damage instead of like... I was like, what if it just ends up empowering them? But nah, stunning the enemies in the fire was a great move. I trust you won't abandon us anytime soon. The people will look to your leadership in the coming days. Many good folk died here, but now is the time for rebuilding. With luck, we may yet restore Redcliffe to its former glory. Okay, Bantigan. Odd how quiet the castle looks from here. You would think there was nobody inside at all. But I shouldn't delay things further. I had a plan. To enter the castle after the village was secure. There is a secret passage here in the mill, accessible only to my family. Wow. Why didn't you mention this before? I knew you would choose to enter the castle instead of staying in the village. And we needed warriors. I'm sorry if I... Maker's breath. Maker's breath. That's very presumptuous of you. Who dis? Tigan. Thank the Maker you yet live. Isolt. You're alive. How did you... What has happened? I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over. And I must return quickly. And I need you to return with me, Tigan. Alone. Alone? I don't have time to explain why I don't have time to explain. Get it out of here with that. Uh, we will need more of an explanation than that. What? I... Who is this man, Tigan? You remember me, Lady Isolde, don't you? Alistair. Of all the... Why are you here? They are Grey Wardens, Isolde. I owe them my life. Pardon me, I... I would exchange pleasantries, but considering the circumstances... Please, Lady Isolde, we had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. I know you need more of an explanation, but I... I, I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and hunt the living. The mage responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think... Connor is going mad. We have survived, but he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. You must help him, Tigan. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. Hmm. What about Aleman? Is he still alive? He is. He is being kept alive so far. Kept alive. Maker. Kept alive? Yeah. <laughs> kept alive by what? Something the mage unleashed. So far, it allows Eamon, Connor, and myself to oh. live. The others were not so fortunate. Oh. It killed so many and turned their bodies into walking nightmares. Once it was done with the castle, it struck the village. It wants us to live, but I do not know why. It allowed me to come for you, Tigan, because I begged, because I said Connor needed help. This fucking ooh, dark magic shit. They're like, we're gonna we're gonna get into some forbidden magic, and oops, it has consequences. Oh, that's so bizarre. This is not gonna go well. I love the yeah, he's being kept alive. I'm, I'm sorry, kept alive. <laughs> um, do you think this evil could be some kind of demon? I I do not know. Oh, Maker's mercy. Could it truly be a demon? I, I can't let it hurt my Connor. You must come back with me, Tigan. P please. Tell me about this mage you mentioned. Stop. Stop rushing me. I wish to go through dialogue. He is an infiltrator, I think. Oh. One of the castle stuff. We discovered he was poisoning my husband. That is why Eamon fell ill. Eamon was poisoned? He claims an agent of Terran Logains hired him. He may be lying, however. I cannot say. I'll believe that. Did that Beric guy survive the fight too? I should see if that guy survived. Why do I get the feeling you aren't telling us everything? I... I beg your pardon? That's a rather impertinent accusation. Fair enough, bro. 
Not if it's true. An evil I cannot fathom holds my son and the husband hostage. I came for help. What more do you want from me? Tigan, I do not have much time. What if it thinks I'm betraying it? It could kill Connor. Please come back with me. Must I beg? So why must Tegan go alone? For Connor's sake. I promised I would return quickly and only with Tegan. Tegan, I know you could order your men to follow me when I return to the castle. I beg you not to. For Connor's sake. Well, at the very least, he can go in the main entrance and then we do a sneaky sneak in the Ban Tegan's entrance and then we are we stealth into the castle and he goes the main way. The king is dead and we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isol. <gasps> Thank the maker. Bless you, Tegan. <gasps> Bless you. Okay. It seems you have little choice. I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Isolde, can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. Please do not take too long. I will be by the bridge. Okay, fellas, you're all getting into the secret entrance. <laughs> Don't let her know. Here's what I propose. I go in with Isolde, and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Perhaps I will distract whatever evil is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What do you say? That's what I was thinking, Ben Tegan. Ben Tegan's great. I love him. Um, what exactly am I supposed to do in there? I wish I knew. I don't know any more about this evil force than Isolde seems to. Sir Perth and his men can watch for danger at the castle entrance. If you can open the gates from within, they can move in and help you. I don't think there's anyone else who can help you. If you choose not to go, then it's up to me to do what I can. Here is my signet ring. It will open the lock on the door in the mill. Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. If you have to, just get him out of there. Isolde, me, and anyone else, we are expendable. Jesus. This guy has a real sense of duty. But what if he's only being kept alive by the magic within the castle and he's bound to it? What if as soon as we need to walk him out, he's like, ah, I'm not being kept alive anymore. I will rescue you all, I promise. Um, mm, we must end this evil no matter what. Ah, oh, there's, there's an interesting, interesting selection here. To me, for me to go, I promise I'll rescue you all. I mean, it feels like a tall order. If I can do it, I can do it. I'll say, I understand. I'll do my best. You are a good man. The maker smiled on me indeed when he sent you to Redcliffe. One fool plan on top of another. Okay, stay No longer. Allow me to bid you farewell. And good luck. Alrighty. Items received. Items received. Nothing showing up as new on the list there. A signet ring, that would be why. Plot item, the seal of Redcliffe adorns this heavy gold ring. All right. So this is the, we go in here. Oh, that would be this fucking thing that we saw. This, that makes sense. We've already seen this. It's a secret passage. It shall, it shall be done. In we go. Okay, let's make a little save right here that we're in. How are we feeling, squad? Feeling good? Oh, God. Oh, this went off to a great start. Maybe I should have stealthed. I love, like, the action of the pause here at the beginning. I probably... I think they've seen us. Well, I mean, they kind of... They kind of hadn't, but Sten's just going for it, so... <laughs> They have the, the the rogue has the attention of the of the group. This is not correct. Right then. Skill has won the day. Nice. Hello. Who's there? Is there anyone alive out there? Wait, you don't look like the Arlesser's guards. Are you from outside the castle? 
I popped up through the ground, uh, as dwarves do. Oh, is this the mage? Interesting. This is the this is the blood splattered fucking mage prisoner. I'll ask the questions here. I yes, I understand. Punk ass. I don't want any trouble from you. Do you understand me? Yes, no trouble from me. I understand. I'm an intimidating dwarven rogue. Who are you? My name is Jowan. I'm a mage Lady Isold hired to tutor her son, Connor. Until they, uh, threw me into the dungeon here. What have you... You're the one who poisoned the Arl. I'm not proud of it. The Arlessa had no idea what I was hired to do when she took me in to tutor Connor. I... I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So they left me to rot. Damn. Okay. So he was just poison man and not undead unleashed man why did you poison Arleman? i was instructed to by terran logain i was told that Arleman was a threat to ferelden that if i dealt with him logain would settle matters with the circle you see i'm a malifica oh. a blood mage you they're not allowed mage. truly i would never have guessed a blood mage well that isn't good I dabbled in the Forbidden Arts, and they condemned me to death for it. I thought Loghain was giving me a chance to redeem myself. But he's abandoned me here, hasn't he? Everything's fallen apart, and I'm responsible! I have to make it right somehow, I have to! Why did the Alessa need a mage to tutor her son? Connor had started to show... signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the Circle of Magi would take him away for training. Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. Damn. Okay. So the circle of magi is more like the Jedi, <laughs> not the Grey Wardens with their weird cult induction shit. The circle of magi are just like, ooh, you got talents? Come here. Interesting. Perhaps her son is responsible for what happened. That could be true. Why would a soul be frightened of her son becoming a mage? Because he would be taken away forever. A mage cannot inherit a title, even the son of a powerful Arl. She's also a pious woman. Her son having magic was humiliating. Arleman had no idea of his son's abilities. No, she was adamant that he never find out. She said that he'd do the right thing, even if it meant losing their son, and that infuriated her. So I'm, I'm confused. You were trying to teach him to hide his abilities, but then I can ask, how much magic did you teach him? <laughs> Some, but he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor spell, never mind something more powerful, at least not intentionally. I have thought about it, and it's possible Connor could have inadvertently done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. Oh, so it's the Fade. Fade is like the afterlife sort of, sort of deal. Sort of like the far plane from Final Fantasy X, where all the souls go. Cool. If you were trying to have your child, you know, not show signs of magic, wouldn't you not hire a mage to tutor him? You would try and maybe go other means, like f maybe communicate with people, be like, hey, is there a way to sever a magical connection? Is there a way that you can stunt a magical ability in the form of maybe like a, a potion or like a, a an item of a clothing or an accessory that kind of inhibits or, you know, suppresses magical prowess? I just feel like going, let's hire a mage to teach him magic is <laughs> not the most logical choice. <laughs> when you're trying to hide their magical abilities. That's just that's just me. You would try and be like, can we cut them off from the force? You know? I see. I think I understand. 
I never meant for it to end like this. I swear. Let me help you fix this. I say kill the mage. He cannot be trusted. He doesn't need to die, surely. I say this boy could still be of use to us, but if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? Hey, hey, let's not forget he's a blood mage. <laughs> you can't just set a blood mage free. Better to slay him. Better to punish him for his choices. Is this Alistair who speaks, or the Templar? Ooh. I'd say it's common sense. We don't even know the whole story yet. Give me a chance, please. I love this confliction. Sten's like, kill him. Alistair's like, yeah, kill him. Morgan's like, wait, help him or let him free? Mmm. <laughs> I like the... I like the Morgan and Alistair headbutting over something like this. But yeah, it's also, and that's another thing. I'm going to hire a blood mage. Um, hmm. So how will you make things right? I, well, I tried to save anyone still up there. There must be something I can do. I wish that having like high persuasion or high like dialogue checks is you could kind of like detect if people were being honest to you in dialogue as well. That would be a cool little like sort of level of dialogue interaction you could have with people if they were being like unjust you could like pick up on that hmm and after that what happens afterwards i assume i'll be arrested or executed or whatever people like me get i'm tired of running from the circle i need to account for what i've done that's commendable if it's true i'm glad you think so so what now Shall we trust the blood mage? Let's let's take a chance on on destiny, shall we? Let's see how we go. We're gonna let him out. And not to try anything. You're letting me out? And what then? I have no idea. Um I can say you come with me. I don't care, you're on your own. Run, I don't want to see you again. Ever escape. This is your last chance, and you come with me. He's gonna come with us. Come with me. I'm not sure that's a good idea. I'd like to help out, but I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger exactly. Then help, just don't make things worse. I won't, I promise. I will find a way to fix this somehow. Hope I'm making a good choice. Or do I hope you make a mistake now, would I? Okay, ooh. Alistair big time disapproves. Stan disapproves. Morrigan approves. Codex updated. I wonder what Liliana would think. Uh, apostates. It is not uncommon for the neophyte to mistake apostates and uh, Maleficarum as one and the same. Indeed, the Chantry has gone to great lengths over the centuries to establish that this is so. The truth, however, is that while an apostate is often a Maleficar, he need not be so. A Maleficar is a mage who employs forbidden knowledge such as blood magic and the summoning of demons, whereas an apostate is merely any mage who does not fall under the auspices of the Circle of Magi and therefore the Chantry. They are hunted by the Templars and quite often they will turn to forbidden knowledge in order to survive, but it would be a lie to say that all apostates begin that way. Historically, apostates become such in one of two ways. They are either mages who have escaped from the circle or mages who were never part of it to begin with. This letter category includes what we tend to refer to as hedge mages, those with magical ability out in the hinterlands who follow a different magical tradition than our own. Some of these hedge mages are not even aware of their nature. Undeveloped, their abilities can express themselves in a variety of ways which the hedge mage might attribute to faith or will or to another being entirely depending on his nature. Some of these traditions are passed down from generation to generation, as with so-called witches of the chastened wilders or the shamans of the Avar barbarians. No matter how a mage has become apostate, the Chantry treats them alike. Templars began, uh, begin a systematic, systematic hunt to bring the apostate to justice. In almost all cases, justice is execution. If there is some overriding reason the mage should live, the right of tranquility is employed. Oh, yeah, and they become one of the tranquil, and they're like, I have no emotions anymore. The right of tranquility is employed instead. Whether we of the Circle of Magi believe the system fair is irrelevant, it is what it is. From Patterns Within Form by Halden, first enchanter of Starkhaven, in the 80th year of the Eighth Age. And blood magic, the forbidden school. Foul and corrupt are you who have taken my gift and turned it against my children. 
Chapter 18, Passage 10 of Transfigurations. The ancient Tevintas did not originally consider blood magic a school of its own, rather they saw it as a means to achieve greater power in any school of magic. The name, of course, refers to the fact that magic of this type uses life, specifically in the form of blood instead of mana. It was common practice uh, at one time for a magister to keep a number of slaves on hand so that should he undertake the working of a spell that was physically beyond his abilities, he could use the blood of his slaves to bolster the casting. Over time, however, the Imperium discovered types of spells that could only be worked by blood. Although Lyrium would allow a mage to send his conscious mind into the Fade, blood would allow him to find the sleeping minds of others view their dreams, and even influence or dominate their thoughts. Just as treacherous, blood magic allows the veil to be opened completely so that demons may physically pass through it into our world. The rise of the Chant of Light and the subsequent fall of the old Imperium has led to blood magic being all but stamped out, as it should be, for it poses nearly as great a danger to those who would practice it as to the world at large. Crazy, from the Fool Schools, a treatise by first enchanter Josephus. That am. All right. Creatures. Corpse. To anyone who doubts the wickedness of blood magic, I say with your own hands, strike down the corpses of your own brothers who have fallen in battle to a Maleficar, then we may discuss morality. Knight Commander Benedictus, in a letter to the Divine in the 46th year of the Fifth Age. The walking dead are not, as the superstitious are wont to believe, the living come back for revenge. They are, rather, corpses possessed by demons. The shambling corpse, controlled by a demon of sloth, causes its enemies to become weak and fatigue. Corpses possessed by rage demons go berserk and simply wade into their opponents mindlessly. Devouring corpses are held by hunger demons and feed upon the living. The more powerful demons rarely deem to possess a dead host. That's crazy that there's also the different types of corpses. We got like rage corpses, devouring corpses, and the shambling one. So wild. All right. Uh, well, I guess he's just going to go and fucking do shit. As you say. As you say. He's just going to... Well, there's no reason to open any of these cells. Nothing in them. Cool. All right. Pile of filth. There's a note here. A rolled up note. I hope whoever finds this can read it. I hate the thought that my last words might be used as kindling or make a forbid to wipe someone's bum, but that's happenstance for you, I suppose. My name is Branan. I was born in Rainsfair. I grew apples once upon a time. When the Orlesians came to demand I bow to their emperor, I turned them away. They set fire to my orchards, to my house too, but I didn't care. I stood and watched them burn. Trees die eventually, houses fall, but my honor can be lost only if I let it. They came back a week later and demanded that I swear an oath. This time, when I refused, they clapped me in irons. Now I'm here and I'll die in this place. It seems a foolish thing to die for, doesn't it? I could have said a few words and rebuilt my home, gone on with my life as if nothing had changed. A hundred generations of my family have lived and died on that land, and I won't be the one to trade our family honor for apples. Whoever you are, Whatever they've brought you here for, if you leave this place, I hope you'll go to Rain's Fair. There's no living remnant of us there, but you'll find my family all the same. We're stamped onto the earth. We're in the wind that rustles the trees. Tell my family how I died, and I promise you they'll hear. Brennan. That's crazy. The things we do for our own personal honor, you know? Gotta respect it. Oh, shambling corpse. Oh, multiple shambling corpses. Very well. Very well. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Oh shit, there's so many of them. Morgan, you're doing great, sweetheart. She's just standing by for a potential heal. Oh no, there she goes. She's attacking. She's laughing too. And then this one was kind enough to wait for us to, um. It is done. She's done. Wild. Okay. As you say. As you say. The music in this place is, is great. It's so creepy. Pile of bones, small metal round shield. Right. 
Gather your party and venture forth. Hold on. I'm going to save real quick. And then I'm going to do it. Never know what you're getting into before you enter a room. Look at this place. All right, guys, stay here. Sometimes silence is best. I'm going to go look around. Dun, dun. Let's go take a look around. Oh my god, what the fuck? Ooh, we got some shades in here. Hello, look at these guys. Greater shade and three lesser shades. Just doing a bit of doing a bit of scouting. They're just enjoying the warmth of the fire, reading from this book. It's my book now. The History of the Chantry, Chapter 2. Nice, we do have chapter one, which is nice, so this isn't awkward. We're not starting a book, second chapter in. When the prophet Andraste and her husband Matharoth arrived at the head of their barbarian horde, southern Tevinto was thrown into chaos. The Imperium had defended against invasions in the past, but now they stood without the protection of their gods, with their army in tatters and their country devastated by the blight. Many felt that the timing of the invasion was yet another of the Maker's miracles in Andraste's campaign to spread his divine word. Andraste was more than simply the wife of a warlord, after all, she was also the betrothed of the Maker. Enraptured by the melodic sound of her voice as she sang to the heavens for guidance, the Maker himself appeared to Andraste and proposed that she come with him, leaving behind the flawed world of humanity. In her wisdom, Andraste pleaded with the Maker to return to his people and create paradise in the world of men. The Maker agreed, but only if all of the world would turn away from the worship of false gods and accept the Maker's divine commandments. Armed with the knowledge of the one true god, Andraste begin, uh, began the exalted march into the weakened Imperium. One of the Maker's commandments that magic should serve man rather than rule over him was as honey to the souls of the downtrodden of Tevinta who lived under the thumbs of the Magisters. Word of Andraste's exalted march, of her miracles and military successes, spread far and wide. Those in the Imperium who felt the old gods had abandoned them eagerly listened to the words of the Maker. Those throngs of restless citizens that destroyed temples now did so in the name of the Maker and his prophet Andraste. As Matharoth's armies conquered the lands of southern Tevinter, so did Andraste's words conquer hearts. It is said that the Maker smiled on the world at the Battle of the Valerian Fields, in which the forces of Matharoth challenged and defeated the greatest army Tevinter could muster. The southern reaches of the mighty Imperium now lay at the mercy of barbarians. Faith in the Maker, bolstered by such miracles, threatened to shake the foundations of the Imperium apart. Of course, the human heart is more powerful than the greatest weapon, and when wounded, it is capable of the blackest of deeds. From Tales of the Destruction of Thetis by Brother Genetivi, Chanchi Scholar. Good name. Hello Shades. I'm going to just pass on through here. I would love to increase my movement speed in stealth if that was even possible. Probably unlikely. Okay. Shambling corpse. Nice. Just on its own. Oh, that's a, that's a few more. They just, that's a... <laughs> hmm. it, isn't it just, it's so bizarre, right? They're just kind of standing there. I would love if they were like, if you stealthed in here, they were just playing chess or something. Just they're just chilling, having some conversations again by the fire. So interesting. Oh my god. Alright. I'm gonna need to take these on one group at a time. Otherwise, I'm not gonna allow them all to overwhelm us, but holy shit. We scouting. What are you what are you? Ah, oh, you fucker. Insufficient skill. Insufficient skill! I'm pissed off at myself. Why did they get rid of the ability to bash down doors or bash open locks from um, from Knights of the Old Republic? Right? That's just, that feels like kind of lame. There's no door that I can close here, is there? No, nope. you guys are getting into combat whether you like it or not. All right. Damn it. I'm going to have to, I think, um, just close that door real quick while we take on the corpses. I'm going to have to either get Liliana in the party and get her level up, or the next level that I get, I'll put it into level 3 lockpicking. Okay, team. We're all going to go into this together. I'm going to do free movement, okay? I'm going to backstab this corpse, and then we're going to see what happens. I'm going to do flurry of blows. Hiya! <laughs> Alright, now run back this way. Ah, because they're all coming. They're all coming for me! 
Alistair, I'm just a I'm just a poor rogue. Good thing we shut the door so the shades aren't getting involved in this fight, right? These are pretty these are pretty strong. Alistair just getting all those heals, which is great, right? I'm so glad that we have heal now. It's just kinda like fucking saves everything. So good. Very well. Very grateful. Okay. Cool. Very well. Very well. Okay. We're now going to go. Do we need it? I guess we get XP. How much XP did? I don't even know how much XP we get in fights, but it's it's worth it. I'm gonna wait for. Oh, hang on a minute. Morgan's got an injury, right? Hang on. I forgot about that. Um. I'm gonna cure you of your injury. Direct me. Ah, oh, your health is taking a while to come back, mate. Oh, I guess we're still. Ah, oh, we're still in battle. That's why. No shit. Okay, hold on. Let me fix that up for you. For some reason, I assumed that we were out of battle for a second there. I was just waiting for everyone's health to regen. I see. Right, I think we I think that's good. Oh shit! They're getting right into it. Draining life. <laughs> Oh shit. Very well. Oh, oh, oh. I'm concerned. Oh, it, it, they didn't get group stunned. That missed. Oh no. Morrigan, freeze them. Oh. She's, okay, she's doing it. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared. Oh no. I'm scared. Okay, hang on. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. It is done. I don't think they can be stunned, but we're, we're doing our we're doing our best. Everyone, everyone's still alive. That's what matters. Speak. Oh my guy! Heal. Heal me, please. Nice, nice, nice. Take out this greater shade. Nice. Everybody stayed alive against the shades. We only got one Lyrian potion out of that. We did get XP, right? Yeah, like 200. Not much, but it's on us work. All right, everybody's health comes back. I'm a save. That's good. It's good shit. All right, we got another room of uh, corpses. You guys ready for more corpses? Hello. An order. Oh yeah. I wish that the freeze one was like a. Um, I do wish that the freeze one was like an AOE. That would be great. Oh, the enraged corpse is now. Oh my god, Alistair. Holy shit. Alistair, please. Use the greater one. Yes. Oh my dear lord, this is bad. Oh, Alistair. You sweet man. Oh, he tried his best, he, but he did die. He, he, he tried his best. We're in trouble here. These corpses are genuinely fucked. This is crazy. Oh god. Um, we're gonna. Yeah. Okay. Holy shit. This is this is not good. Um. Yeah. So. Shall be done. 
Oh man. Um I'm gonna go. As you say. Oh no, you can't leave an area while in combat. I was gonna try and leave and try again. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to save my game because I'm dead. <laughs> Load my game because I'm dead. Okay. We sa we saved it after this is why I, this is a good idea why I saved. Oh, it said there was a level up there, but no one in our party is leveled up. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's you. Oops, my Mabari War Dog. Okay, hang on. Let's do that. Oh, it only levels up your um. Okay, no no talents. Okay. No talents, no skills. Okay, I probably had that level up for a while considering he's almost at another level up. Okay, that was really, that was rough. I'm gonna need to do something different. Um, Tell me. Would you like to transform? Ah, oh, do frost weapons. Give us all frost. Give us all frost weapons. Frost our weapons. I forgot about that. Because I took that off of the tactics, didn't I? Okay. And I'm going to sit back here. I need to get used to just not... I always want to control my character, but I realize it's probably best to lead with probably another character. Who, who should, like, start the fight. What if I just, like, sit them... If I... Mm, if I hold position, will they all... Mm, mm, I'm trying to think of like, maybe I can just kind of bottleneck them in the room. And as long as I don't, that might be a good idea. Just bottle, just bottleneck them in the door so they can't overwhelm us. I think that works. Let's finish this. <laughs> Can you cast horror on a corpse? I don't think they would even care. They made their way through the door anyway, so this is kind of useless. Um, I lost Sten. This is not good. Again, this is just more not good stuff. Um, it's... Because <laughs> we got challenging it. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Don't mess with a group of corpses. We can see why Redcliffe was falling constantly, right? Oh, it was the war dog. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna level you up. Oh, I accidentally quick loaded instead of quick saved. That's uh, at least we're right here. That's good. I'm just gonna do that so I don't have to keep doing that because I might die a couple of times. All right, bottlenecking them is not a good idea. Sometimes silence is best. Um, bottlenecking them is not a good idea because they still push through. There's a shitload of them. Oh, you know what? If I just close this door, I don't think corpses have the ability to open doors. So if we close the door, they'll leave us alone. Oh my god! Why can't you be our friends? That's really annoying. Why can't we make friends? Oh. Ooh, I'm going to give that to Dex. We got some war paint. 30 plus cold resistance and electricity resistance. Interesting. So we got some dog paint in here. Oh, dogs. Why can't I not recruit you to my cause? Look at them. That's a shame. So if we enter this room, we're going to get piled on by dogs. Surprised they didn't enter the fight immediately. Because we start having zombies. A cunning trap. A cunning trap. Where? Oh, nice. I detected disarm that trap. Nice. Where do the fucking rest of the where do the rest of the zombies come from? Okay, there's two in here. Do they know how to open doors then? They must know how to open doors if they keep entering the fight. Because they run in from this hallway, I can see them doing so. Oh my god. There's so many of them. Oh, 
Oh my, oh my. Behind every door, an enraged corpse. Oh, hello. Who are you? Can't even talk to you because I am in stealth mode. If I... Oh, that's Velena. Holy shit, it's the blacksmith's daughter. Okay, she alive. All right, just pretend you didn't see that door close. I'll be back for you. Okay. Interesting. All right, I'm gonna close this door. Oh, you know what? If I was a if I was a clever little lad, which I'm not, um, and I had trap making, I could make traps here for um, the zombies to run through as they enter combat. That that would be really cool, actually. I don't think poison's gonna do much against a corpse. Damn, I can see how trap making would really come in handy to get an upper hand in combat. Like you could just like lay a bunch of fucking traps on the floor here as they run through. It's quite clever. Oh shit, I forgot to close this door. Stealth movement, real slow. Don't mind me, everybody. I'm gonna just close this door and hope that they don't join combat because of it. Okay. Shall we see if this works? It won't let me... You cannot quick save once battle has started. So all of that preparation cannot be saved over. Maybe if I walk away, it will exit battle. And then I can save. If I'm far away enough. It's seeming unlikely. Yes! Okay, cool. Alright. All right, team. Shall we try again? This time I will unstealth. I'll save. We will engage with all that preparation work done. Okay. Oh, look at that. Only one's coming in. Okay. Hold. Okay, they're all coming in now. I should have got them all to stay. And I should have just tried to lure them. All right, well, now they're all here. I think this is working out much better now. Instead of having reinforcements com constantly coming in, we're doing one group at a time. Morgan is healing. Can't fucking backstab this guy because he's so focused on me. Squad, I'm so proud of you. As okay, you nice. Okay, that was better. I'm gonna just save after every encounter. Because why would I not do that? You know what I mean? Why not do that? A malformed organ cut from the gut of a reanimated horror. Gross. Okay. Um. Hang on. Five. Dog. Um. War paint. What have I got on? Plus four damage versus beasts. Well, I don't think I need to worry about electricity and cold resistance right now, so I'm going to keep that damage against beasts on, I suppose. Okay, and now once we open this door... Oh, should we go Should we go for the dogs? This is, a sh this is sad. This is sad. Let's be wary. <laughs> Why must I slaughter Mabari? How, why can't I recruit them to my cause? You know what I mean? Why can I not recruit them to my cause? Oh, 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 that happened so quickly for Alistair. I just heard like this fucking bone crunch. Holy shit, I thought that was okay. Oh god. Oh no. That's so unfortunate. That Mabari is fucking strong as fuck. Unfortunately, Morrigan's heal was not quick enough to save Alistair. Oh, and Sten was literally a hit away from death. Oh, Alistair, you good, bro? Yeah. I love how we have the lesser injury kit on your health, on your quick bar, and nobody else's, because you're the one who dies all the time. Good job tanking, sir. It was kind of a waste because we'd already looted this room, but it was for the it was for the experience. It has begun. Oh, black leather collar. 
I mean, not the best ever, but what have we currently got? A ward plus two constitution. I feel like... What? What's better? More armor or more constitution? I feel like they not almost cancel each other out, considering... Um, more defense or more Let us be on our way. health in general? Who knows? Okay. So the Mabari Hounds are now dealt with. We venture forth. Okay. Um, now we're going to have to deal with enemies behind each room, but there is much significantly less of them now. Which is good. Be wary. Oh, this should be good. Oh, as you say. They, fuck, they are strong though. They got a lot of they got a lot of health. Uh, Alistair, do you want to do anything? Thank you. They finally re realized that they could engage in combat. Nice. Okay. Now this is going so much better that we're not... As soon as you start getting, like, overwhelmed and reinforcements arrive in combat, you have just, like, so much less chance to, like, recover. Let them overwhelm us. But now we have, like, you a chance when we do win. this. Right then. As you say. Hell yeah. Okay. Morrigan has the level up. Nice. So, we can't change parties while we're in this point either, so I can't even bring Liliana in if I wanted to, to potentially level her up. Um, I feel like you should have at least some more health, right? And then more magic. Okay. Oh, you have... Fuck, I don't need to give herbalism to to my character. You've got expert. You can have expert herbalism. All right, I'm going to just leave Morrigan to be the herbalism. So I'm going to just keep it. And I am going to then, as, a, as my roguish character, I'm probably going to spec into trap making uh, with, uh, with the dwarf. So I can lay some traps down in combat. You... Hmm. Third tier. Yeah. Do that. Bear shape. Flame blast. Rock armor. The cast of skin comes hard as stone. Shock. All targets in the area. Damaging all targets in the area, but friendly fire is possible. Cone of cold. Freezing targets solid unless they pass a physical resistance check and slowing their movement. Friendly fire is possible. Cone of cold could be shattered with a critical hit. Hmm. Ah, oh, so you can free, you can, it has like uh, multiple targets. Rejuvenate, granting them a short-term boost to mana or stamina regeneration. Bonus to attack, paralyzes the first enemy who crosses it. So spell trap, summons a wisp that grants a small bonus to spell power. Spell shield or any hostile spell targeted at the caster being absorbed. Mana drain, walking bomb. Corrosive poison. If the target dies while the effect is active, it explodes. That's kind of really cool. Friendly fire possible. Force field. Telekinetic barrier around a target. Completely immune to damage for the duration, but cannot move. Hmm. That's useful. That is very useful for your tank. Because we could just have Morrigan cast that on Alistair for a while, and he can, like, tank. He just complete, becomes immune to damage. Death magic. I'm almost tempted to get force field for the next one and put it on Alistair. Problem is Sten also attracts attention as well. So they're both kind of fighting for attention from everybody. Crushing prison? What was that one? Ooh. Telekinetic weapons. The caster enchants the party's melee weapons with telekinetic energy that increases armor penetration. All right, we'll go with force field. And then Morrigan, if Alistair is being attacked by a melee attack, we're going to now change that from, oh, I just realized how stupid this is. I just realized how stupid this is. This doesn't make any sense, does it? Because it targets Alistair. So if Alistair is being attacked by a melee attack, casting Winter's Grasp as a response to that, I don't think makes sense. 
because she's got no target, I think. Like, I think I've misunderstood how this works, which is which is silly, but now I can fix that. He's being attacked by a melee attack. <laughs> he uses force field. Sheesh. That's, yeah, that's a bit silly, isn't it? Um, we'll save that. Logically, in my mind, I was like, oh, he's being attacked, so Morrigan will cast Winter's Blast. And I think that was part of me thinking it was like it would just attack, get people in range, but I think it needs a target. So that's silly. It's a misunderstanding. Um, Sten will just activate Threaten. I'm thinking we should just not have that happening. So he can stop getting the attention of people because we'll focus on Alistair having Taunt, I think. That makes sense to me. We're getting cash money from these corpses though, which is good. Okay, how are we doing team? I think we're doing quite well. We've got a bunch of enemies behind that door, however, so we're going to go into this one instead. Where there is just two. And Morrigan is going to cast frost weapons again. <laughs> I see force field. Oh, he cannot. He legitimately can't move either. Okay, I thought he just couldn't like, m like, move like as in walking. Ah, huh. so he can become okay. That can still work. That can still work. It becomes immune to damage for a decent amount of time, and all our other characters can attack. For some reason, I just thought it meant he couldn't, like move from his spot. He was locked in, but could still like attack. It still works. We just put, put a protection on him for a while. He can't attack and everybody else just like pounds on the enemies while they're like wasting their time attacking Alistair. I still think that can work. It's a shame that Alistair can't like also attack during that though. All right, let's speak to Valena. Hello. Ah, please don't hurt me. Okay. Um, be silent, you are safe. I... I'm sorry. I'm so frightened. These monsters are everywhere. My... My name's Valena. The Arlesa's maid. Is she... All right. What happened to everyone? Uh, Valena, the smith's daughter. You know my father. I want to go back to the village. Is there a way out of here? There's a tunnel leading out in the dungeon. But... But the monsters... Um, I'm pretty sure we've cleared the path, right? We've killed most of them, it's safe. I'll find my way. I can run fast and I know the castle. Thank you. Quest updated. Elena Blacksmith's daughter escaped back to town by going back the way you came. Check on her when you have the time. Make sure she made it back safely. Well, we definitely cleared out, like, the way along there. There's no logical way that she should have died. Because <laughs> all the enemies are in this room now. All right. Proceed. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. So many of them. I need Alistair to take the fucking... So he's taunting, he's getting their attention. Oh. Alistair's getting beaten on again, however. Yes. Alright, now he's immune, so they're attacking him. No effect. Nice. So while he sits there taking no damage, we'll wail it on enemies. Nice. Alistair, you're doing so well, bro. That's a decent amount of time that he's immune to damage. Like, that's a decent amount of time that he's immune to taking hits. I love that it's literally just like, Alistair, pause. <laughs> pause. <laughs> You'd be our, our decoy. How to turn him into even more of, like, a, a tank. You can take all the all the damage. Well. And uh, we'll be we'll be fine. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> hey, but we winning win in combat and preventing deaths by any means necessary. And uh, that apparently works. As you say. As you say. So I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. All right. 
Have your party and venture forth uh, to the next area. Let's go. Ah, oh, that could have gone much, much worse. We've we've been able to, you know, overcome some challenges there. That's good. Money. Money. Pile of junk. Studded leather armor. Ah, oh, this is something I want to do as well. Is I've kind of only equipped this via essentially necessity. Now, this gives like much less fatigue. It does give much less armor as well, but because it's much less fatigue, our character can kind of bounce around and move a little bit more. So that takes it down to 3.9. So he's currently in medium armor. I realized that I had a heavy helmet on and Sten had the light helmet on, so I switched those around. So, and we've got light boots. Uh, so at, at the moment, we just have the medium gloves on as well. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, this chain mail. Um, so that's the same for Alistair. <laughs> uh, Sten has heavy chain mail on. He's a heavy boy. All right, I think we're okay. Do that. There's a chest around here. Oh, another love letter and steel braces, which is a gift. Okay, another love letter. So this is our second love letter. Collection of embarrassing personal communications between the spoiled wealthy and their objects of obsession. My darling Reginald, I burn for you. Because of you, please use the enclosed tincture if our love is to endure. Sorry. You are filthy, a beast. Such depravity I've never been forced to suffer. How words are so laden when they leave your lips is beyond decent imagining. Madam, I love you. Sir Orgold. Uh, where's the other love letter that we found? Or is that the same love letter? Just one? Uh, is it the same one? Just found in a different place? Same people? Potentially? Venture forth. Oh, and here we are. We're out in the castle. So that was literally just like the basement. <laughs> I love that that whole thing was like, this is just the basement. All right. Now there's the actual castle. Oh, what's that? I'm going to open the gates. Open the gates. Let the knights through. Yes, let them in. Oh shit. Nice dog, get out of there. Everybody, everybody should be more t fucking together. Everybody's too spread out. I'm, st I'm scared. Oh, this is not gonna go well. This is not going to go well. Um, I need everybody to go over here. So I'm going to just fucking have everybody move away, please. Everybody go that way. Everybody go. Everybody leave. Oh, I just... Oh, Stan. Stan. I just realized that Alistair cannot move. Oh, this is a disaster. Oh, no. Oh, there's a revenant. Look at that. This fucker. Oh, no. There's a fucking revenant here. This is not good. Alistair. Alistair's got his force field on. This fucking revenant out of here, dude. <laughs> Oh god, the knights, oh, all, we've lost all, we're losing all of those knights, dude. Oh, okay, two knights died. Two knights died. Two lived, I think Sir Perth lived. I think I recognize him. Oh god. That could have gone much better, that just went to fucking shit immediately. It is a bit of a problem when, you know, you can either hold position or, I guess it defend, depends on their behavior, you can change it to be more defensive or not just run into battle and then you go, oh, fuck. <laughs> An entire unit of men all slain by one creature. I didn't believe it at first, your perfection, but it appears that it is so. We have a survivor, and while at first I thought his ranting's pure exaggeration, it appears to be no simple skeleton. The descriptions of the creature's abilities were eerily similar to those our brothers at Manus Pell encountered almost a century ago. Men pulled through the air to skewer themselves on the creature's blade and attack so quick that it was able to assault multiple opponents at once. No, your perfection. What we have here is indeed a revenant and nothing less. From a letter to Divine Amara the Third, 
71st year of the fifth age. A revenant is a corpse possessed by a demon of pride or of desire, making it amongst the most powerful possessed opponents that one can face. Many possess spells, but most are armed and armored and prefer the use of their martial talents. They are weak against physical attacks, but regenerate quickly and commonly use telekinesis to pull opponents into melee range should they try to flee. Revenants also have the ability to strike multiple opponents surrounding them, stay at range if possible, and strike quickly. That is the only way to take such a creature down. Revenants, man. Okay. How's everyone doing? Yeah, it is Sir Perth. It has begun. Uh, Sir Perth and a knight lived. I dread to think what might have happened had you not arrived when you did. Sorry about your, uh, your knight friends. Spirit Shard and a Sapphire. Damn. Oh, damn. You have opened the gates. That's oh, good. all the knights and are alive. Get to see our Arl again. <laughs> Shall we enter the main hall together? It must be held if we are to regain control of the castle. Um, okay. Hold on. I want to look around elsewhere first. As you wish. We will hold the gate and watch for anyone attempting to leave. Let me know if the situation changes. Oh! <laughs> They're alive in dialogue. <laughs> and then their corpses have been moved. <laughs> oh, no. What is the oh. situation? Shall we go to the hall with you, or shall we wait here? Wait here for now. As you wish. It is quite... Eerie here, however. I'm used to seeing this castle bustling with troops. Do not tarry if you can avoid it. Does this mean that, that if we enter a new area, they will be alive? I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna come back out. I'm gonna see if they're alive when we when we restart the zone. Oh, their corpses have disappeared. They're gone. What is the situation? Okay, yep, they are gone now. Shall we go to the hall with you? Or <laughs> they're properly <laughs> they're properly gone. There's only two knights left. Okay. Yeah. So we could have had more help if I did not fuck that up so much. Could have probably stunned them a bit more. Oh, we got another landmark tree. Time to go and do your pee on the landmark tree. Fire dominance now. Dude. Just gotta look out for those landmark trees. Okay. Well, I guess we should all go into the castle together. I mean, we have a better chance if we all go in. Otherwise, we leave them out there. Alright, we're going to all go in together. And I'm gonna quick save just in case. What is the situation? Shall we go to the hall with you, or shall we wait here? Let's go! Excellent. Let us go now, then and see what awaits us there. Narrator, everyone is about to die. Oh no. Oh no. So these are our visitors. The ones you told me about, Mother. Y yes, Connor. Oh. And this is the one who defeated my soldiers. The ones I sent to reclaim my village. Yes. And now it's staring at me. What is it, Mother? I can't see it well enough. This is a dwarf, Connor. Huh? You... You've <laughs> seen dwarves before. We've had them here at the castle. Had them? For dinner, maybe. Looks like a tough chew. Maybe in a nice stew. <laughs> Shall I send it to the kitchen, Mother? Connor, I beg you, don't hurt anyone. Ma Mother? What? What's happening? Where am I? Oh, thank the Maker. Connor, Connor, can you hear me? Get away from me, fool woman. You are beginning to bore me. Maker's breath. What has happened here? Grey Warden, please don't hurt my son. He is not responsible for what he does. Man's possessed. I gotta say, on my Dragon Age bingo card, getting into Redcliffe Castle was not child possessed by a demon, but it makes so much sense. It makes so much sense. So his sort of like weak magical prowess, he didn't sort of have that like high enough willpower to resist like 
possession, I suppose. Ah, oh, yeah, I like that you can. I like that the voice you can hear the 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 demon voice underneath it. I just love that you walk into the room and he's just like, "Do a dance for me, Ban Tegan. You have been converted to a jester, you fool!" Oh wow, interesting. Um, so he is the evil spore f- force you spoke of. What did you do with Ban Tegan? Here I am. Here am I. <laughs> I like him better this way. <laughs> no more yelling. Now he amuses me. <laughs> Connor didn't mean to do this. It was that mage, the one who poisoned Demon. He started all this. He summoned this demon. Connor was just trying to help his father. And made a deal with the demon to do so? Foolish child. It was a fair deal. Father is a liar, just as I wanted. Now it's my turn to sit on the throne and send out armies to conquer the world. Nobody tells me what to do anymore. Nobody tells him what to do. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> Quiet, uncle. I warned you what would happen if you kept shouting, didn't I? Yes, I did. Don't hurt Ben Tegan. Keep things civil. This man will have the audience he seeks. Tell us, what have you come here for? Am I about to choke out a child? Get out of this boy! Eject, do an exorcism. I love this. Like, here I am. Here am I. <laughs> Just turned him into the jester. That's so good. My, I think my favorite part about this, and what's really nice about this angle, is I'm included here. It's really nice. We're all just staring at him, just going. <laughs> like everybody's just fucking cold staring directly at him. Hold on a sec. I need to, I need to change. Oh, I can't do it because oh, this is a real shame. We are um unfortunately Dragon Age is like you can't exit the window without the screen minimizing. So I was gonna try and see if I could drag my webcam over my dwarf's face, but unfortunately it's not possible. At least in this current state. That's a shame. I was going to put my head over my, my dwarf and be in there. Unfortunately, I'm covering up Morrigan's tits instead. All right. Um, let's have a look. I came here to help if I could. <laughs> I love that it's just like, I think I'll just leave. Oh, we know where Bantigan is. Let me... Mm, this is interesting. Should I offer help? And then we all get converted into jesters or an army. Um, I need to see Al Eamon. So you're a concerned well-wisher. Why didn't you say that in the first place? All this sneaking around and killing is so unnecessary. But father is so very ill. We really shouldn't disturb him. Isn't that right, mother? I... I don't think... Of course you don't. Ever since you sent the knights away, you do nothing but deprive me of my fun. Frankly, it's getting dull. I crave excitement and action. This man spoiled my sport by saving that stupid village, and now he'll repay me. Oh, shit. You're not really going to make me do this, are you? What the f- Oh, no. Is there not a peaceful option? Do we have to kill Ben Tegan? Why? Uh, oh, this is this is crap. I liked him. I feel like I'm sleeping, but I guess I'm not. While most of the bands and Isles Froden cast cart their children with them to the lands meet in the interest of eventually marrying them off, Connor has spent his entire life at Redcliffe, and it's hardly surprising. The child possessed the gift of magic. By law, he should have been taken to the Circle of Magi at the first sign, abdicating his claim to Redcliffe. Instead, the boy was kept out of public view and his magic hushed up with disastrous results. All mages are beacons that attract the attention of Fade Spirits. Because of this, they are trained and tested by the Circle to ensure that they can withstand attacks from malevolent Fade creatures that seek entry into the waking world. Untrained Connor drew the attention of a powerful demon that tore the veil asunder. Uh, okay. No. Okay. Guards and Bantigan. Surely Bantigan, we can like knock some sense into him maybe if we beat him up a bit. Okay. Morrigan, I'm going to start you off with frost weapons. 
Um, and then I'm gonna have my dog stun everybody. Oh, it did not stun everybody at all. Okay. We've still got archers coming in here. I'm scared about Van Tegan. You cannot match my skill. Shall be done. I'm missing this guy. I'm at least trying to get them to stop shooting arrows. No, Van Tegan. Oh. No. No. He's okay. So it turns out we're not beating him to his senses. We've killed him. your time to die. Shall be done. I'm upset. Oh, he's just disintegrated into bones so quickly. Tegan. Oh my god. Are you alright? I am oh. better now. I thought we just turned him into bones. My mind is my own again. Blessed Andras. Thank fuck. I would never have forgiven myself had you died. Not after I brought you here. What a fool I am. Please. Connor's not responsible for this. There must be some way we can save him. Take him and just... Okay. I literally watched Ben Tegan die and turn into dust and echoes. Who's dust and echoes, you might ask? No idea. But Ben Tegan is alive. Oh. I can't believe it. I was literally was like, no, we have to kill him. <laughs> so glad that <laughs> I'm not about to kill a child. Let, we'll see what we can do. We should be able to do perform some sort of Dragon Age exorcism, right? They should have those in this world. If you've got mages, you've got exorcisms. Connor is no longer a oh, child. The mage is here. He's an abomination. You! You did this to Connor! I didn't. I didn't summon any demon. I told you. Please, if you'll let me help. Help? You betrayed me. I brought you here to help my son, and in return you poisoned my husband? This is the mage you spoke of? Didn't you say he was in the dungeon? He was. I assumed the creatures had killed him by now. He must have been set free. The voice acting in this game is incredible. It is like... And this is not really fair to say. This is so it's not a negative thing, but it is a little bit let down by the facial animations because like the voice acting is so incredible and heartfelt and genuine. And you've got her go like screaming and it's so good and convincing, but her face is going. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> yeah, so it's just like. <laughs> Ew! But with like so expressionless, you know. Actually, that's that's the wrong word because there is an expression there. It's just the wrong expression. <laughs> um, oh, this is interesting because I can be like, I stand by my decision, or we could say he's no more to blame than you are, which is actually true. How dare you! If this man hadn't poisoned my husband, none of this would have happened. Wrong. He should be executed. Your secrecy made his actions possible, Isolde. Correct. But I... I know what you must think of me, my lady. I took advantage of your fear. I'm sorry. I never knew it would come to this. Well, I shan't turn away his help. Not yet. And if Connor is truly an abomination... He's not always the demon you saw. Connor is still inside him, and sometimes he breaks through. Please. I just want to protect him. Isn't that what started this? You hired the mage to teach Connor in secret, to protect him. If they discovered Connor had magic, then they'd take him away. I thought if he learned just enough to hide it, then... Interesting. So you had no idea the man you hired was an assassin. Oh, I guess this is the mage's name. Joan? Or is... The, who's Joan? The demon yeah, Connor I guess his name is Joan. Destroyed. Killing Connor is the easiest way to do that, certainly. But there is another way. A mage could confront the demon in the Fade Ooh. without hurting Connor himself. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? Not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt and controls him from there. We can use the connection between them to find the demon. You can enter the Fade, then? And kill 
kill the demon w without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. It normally requires lyrium and, and several mages, but I have blood magic. That's so fucking cool. Like them talking about like demon possession and how it works in this when it's not like in the body itself, but it's connected through the fade is really, really cool. Something that I really like about this game is while it has a lot of its like typical well-known fantasy tropes of like races and uh, like, you know, zombies and creatures, undead creatures of the night and all of this kind of established stuff that we're all very familiar with. What I really like is that so far the entire story and everything that's taken place has been so unpredictable and so unique like i'm seeing so many scenarios that i would have never expected to happen or take place and it's so fun like i think that's really cool is they've taken the fantasy setting and really like transformed it and changed it into something where it's not like it's it's not tropey at least from for the most part of what i've experienced it's not like it's not going in such a what's the word that i'm looking for like it's it's not playing out in a predictable manner like I didn't expect to walk in on demon possessed boy instead turning Van Tegan into a jester, you know, like stuff like that. I didn't expect the Grey Warden, and, like didn't expect Duncan and King Kalen to just get fucking cut off from the story immediately in a fucking Lord of the Rings style epic fight that was like be the betrayal of it and Terran Loghain like doing that thing um, and trying to usurp the throne. Like I didn't, you can't see any of that coming, and I and I love it for that reason because. I thought it was going to be a very, at the very beginning, first impressions, you might just go, oh, this is going to be a very, you're the chosen one, dark versus light. We, You you must be the one to fight against the dark spawn. You know, like that, it's leading into that. It leads you into sort of like that false sense of like, oh, I know where this is, I see where this is going. But then it just all goes to shit, all goes like belly up and you're in this like unpredictable world now. And it's really, really great. Like to have your like leader who kind of knew everything die and now you're just kind of like well i guess me and alistair the two new gray wardens just kind of gonna fuck around and find out it's great it's it's really it's really great um and like this kind of stuff as well the way that this is all panning out the character interactions are so good like they're not corny at all like the way that all the characters are interacting with each other is is fantastic i'm just i love the development of this this is uh this is so so nice <laughs> um let me have a look do we allow him to cast blood magic alistair will disapprove morrigan will approve stan will be like we should have killed him already what difference does that make lyrium provides the power for the ritual but i can take that power from someone's life energy this ritual requires a lot of it however all of it in oh shit so someone must die Someone must be sacrificed. Yes, mm. and then we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's not much of an option. Oh, man. Someone's going to die either way. Either we kill the child. Kill the child. Uh, or the demon lives in the Fade. If only one mage can enter, does that mean Morrigan has to do a 1v1 with a demon? Because I don't see that going very well. I don't think any of my characters would survive a 1v1, even against a fucking corpse. Is there no other method? The power has to come from somewhere, and that means either lyrium. I've got so many lyrium potions, dude. Then let it be my blood. I will be the sacrifice. What? Isolde, are you mad? Eamon would never allow this. Either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside him, or I give my life so my son can live. To me, the answer is clear. Blood magic. How can more evil be of any help here? Two wrongs don't make a right. It does seem like a sensible choice with a willing participant. Connor is blameless in this. He should not have to pay the price. It, uh, it's up to you, my friend. You know more about such things than I do, and it's your companion going into the Fade. The decision is yours. I'm not sure how I feel about a Morrigan 1v1, dude. <laughs> She's the only one not covered in blood at the moment as well, in terms of all the party members who fought, which is so funny. Oh, shit. There must be another way to enter the Fade. Need some time to consider. Are you sure you are ready to die? If there is even a chance to save Connor, I am. You rest your hopes on this young mage. 
He poisoned Eamon, and he could take your life power and attack for all we know. He would be a fool to try. Yeah, I kind of trust him. No, I am willing to take his word. I would give my life for the chance to undo what I have done. I still do not agree, but it cannot be my choice. Oh, dude, this feels heavy. Why does it have to be my choice? I am but a humble dwarf. I'm going home. <laughs> um, there must be another way to enter the Fade. You can find Lyrium and more mages at the Circle of Magi, if they would even do it. Oh, the Circle Tower is not far from here. That is an excellent point. One of the treaties is also for the Circle of Magi, after all. The tower is about a day's journey across the lake. You could attempt to get the mages' help. But what will happen here? Connor will not remain passive forever. Dude, what if I went to the Circle of Magi first? I would already have their help and just be like, yo. Because now I have to go, now I would have to go there and go through the hassle of being like, this is another point. Oh, this is great. Because I feel genuinely stuck by this choice right now. So we can go and take the chance, travel about a day to the Circle of Magi, be like, yo, come and help out. They might refuse. It probably will launch us into another main quest where it's like, you have to help us out or do something. I don't expect that they would help us so quickly, so eagerly right away, even with a piece of paper saying, do what I say. In the meantime, though, Connor might just fuck around and murder the whole town, come another midnight, like summon another horde. Fuck around and turn Bantigan inside out for amusement. This is the really genuine thing that I am really liking about this game is the choices feel so weighty with their consequences uh, and potential outcomes. So we can either risk it right now and do a blood magic 1v1 ritual with Morrigan versus a demon, or we can risk people's lives to go and travel to the Circle of Magi, get their help with Lyrium to fight against the demon, could potentially result in some drastic, um, drastic results and outcomes here in that time that we're away. And, it, and it's like almost a paralyzing decision, but like, I think the really fun thing about this game is I'm feeling the weight of that choice and that's entirely what the game is trying to make you do here it's like do we take that chance at the very least if we do if we do a blood ritual 1v1 with Morrigan I could end up just being fucking stuck in a death loop like we just retry it over and over we don't know how strong the demon is mm. I'm almost at a point where I need to I need like a, I need to flip a coin I don't know what I what I genuinely want to do here do we Take the chance, or do we just... Mm -mm. He will not remain passive forever, I know. What if Ah Lehman dies in the meantime? I don't know. Um, okay, are we gonna, we're gonna take the chance. We're gonna take the chance on the Circle of Mages. Very well, I will keep Jowan here as a precaution. He says he wants to help, so he will keep an eye on Connor with us. Go to the tower quickly then. The longer you are away, the greater the chances of disaster. Oh man, okay. Free the castle of the demon's control. You travel to Redcliffe to seek the help of Arliman. Connor may have been possessed by a demon. So seek the circle's help. The demon that turned Connor into an abomination can be defeated in the Fade. However, travel into the Fade requires Lyrium and a large group of mages to do the ritual. You have volunteered to seek help from the Circle of Magi. Ooh, I'm actually stressed. Okay. I'm glad that Bantigan is alive. Makes me very happy. Uh, we are going to loot this place before we leave. Um, ooh, are these, this is just suits of armor. Are there people in there? Oh, I see, oh, do you see that shit? There's eyeballs in there. Stan, thank you. There's, uh, there's, uh, there's people in there. You see those eyes? Is this just supposed to be a- oh! Fucking mutual yelling. Oh no! What the fuck is happening? Oh! I hadn't saved their actual suits of armor. What do, what do we do? They're not taking any damage. Um. Ooh. 
Hey guys, you want to help out? Battle against Tsutsurama. Come, come, party. Whoa! Okay, this is not good. What do we... I don't know what we can do here. They're kind of weak. At the very least. They're not doing a lot of damage. Okay, they're not they're not doing a hell of a lot of damage. Begin the onslaught. Okay. I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed. I'm now much more relaxed. My fucking god, dude. We owe it all to them continuously attacking um Alistair. And um Morrigan's like stunning him. <laughs> You cannot match my skill. This is so stressful. But we're okay, I think. Holy shit. Suit of armor battle? <laughs> what the fuck just happened? <laughs> that just like I was like, look at these suits of armor. Oh, I can see eyeballs. Oh my god, the entire lead up to that. I was like, I was literally about to say, as all the screaming just happened, I was like, I wonder if it's one of those video game things where they, to have a character model of a suit of armor, they need to put a person in it and it's just an inactive like object and I'm just like looking too far into it. But no, <laughs> we just got fucking attacked by a whole suit of armor group. I'm glad that the knights helped out. Oh, holy shit. Okay. Uh, we're supposed to be heading to the Circle of Magi, but it looks like I can also kind of like fuck around and explore here first. I'm going to save before anything fucking else happens. Oh, Alistair's mother's amulet. Oh, shit. This silver emblem of Andraste's flame is riddled with cracks. Someone with a lot of patience carefully glued it back together. Dude, it's Alistair's mother's amulet. Give it to him as a gift. How is our, uh, how is our levels doing? How are, How is our group doing? with our approval. He's a plus five. Somehow Morrigan is at plus 17. Sten just doesn't care. Oh, he also has a head injury. Let me let me fix that up for you, buddy. Fix that up for you quick. Look. I shall do it. I shall do it. The Elysian Empire. Okay. Fuck me, that just took me by surprise. All right, the Elysian Empire, the many lords and ladies in Val Royale, and I mean this literally, once the system of noble titles in Orlais was labyrinthine. There were barons and baroness and baronets and sir barons and a horde of others, each with its own origins and its own nuances of comparison. The Elysian aristocracy is ancient and much given to competition. All the nobility play the grand game as it is known, whether they wish to or not. It is a game of reputation and patronage where moves are made with rumors and scandal is the chief weapon. No gentle game, this. More blood has been drawn as a result of the grand game than any war the Elysians have fought. Of this, I am assured by almost every gentleman here. As far as titles went, everything changed with the coming of Emperor Dracon, who established the Elysian Empire as it exists now and who created the Chantry. There is no more venerated figure in Orlais in Val Royo. The state of Draken now stands as tall as the statue of Andraste. Draken determined that the grand game was tearing Orlais apart, so he abolished all titles beside his own and Lord and Lady. I am told with some twittering amusement that this action did not end the grand game as Draken had intended. Now the lords and ladies collected unofficial titles rather than official ones, such as the exalted patron of Tassus Clay or uncle to the champion of Trems. It is a headache to remember such titles. And one winces to think of the oh god where am I? And one winces to think of the poor doorman at the bowls who must rattle them off as each guest enters the room. The aristocracy is different from Ferelden in other ways as well. The Elysian's right to rule stems directly from the maker. There exists neither the concept of rule by merit nor noble, uh, nor the slightest notion of rebellion. If one is not noble, one aspires to be, or at the least aspires to be, in the good graces of a noble and is ever watching for a way to enter the patronage of those better placed in the grand game. And then there are the masks and the cosmetics. I have not seen so much paint since the kennels of Hyava, but that is another story. Beyond the Frostbacks by Ban Tyrick, West Hill, in the 20th year of the Ninth Age. Interesting. Okay. 
So <laughs> there is more to this castle that we can explore. Uh, potential suits of armor await us in these rooms. Oh, or just more corpses. Oh, Chamberlain. Oh, Chamberlain. Okay, interesting. Don't let them overwhelm us. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, my character is stuck. Who this, who this Chamberlain guy? Sten getting fucked up right now. Oh no. Um, Morrigan's a bit busy right now. Can I get Morrigan out of here? Oh shit. Of course you're being attacked. Yeah, protect the knight. Okay, done with you now. Done with you now. Okay, good. I put Morgan behind the knight, which was good. <laughs> Go to the knight for protection. Oh, Redcliffe Vault Key. This key is so heavy it can be used as a bludgeon. They don't make them like they used to. Okay. Got a vault key. It's nice. Unlocked with the vault key, small silver ring, a gift, and then, oh, a full injury kit. Cured of up to three injuries. Nice. Okay. Put them around shield. A book. Very well. More lore, geography of Ferelden. The kingdom of Ferelden in, is the southernmost civilized nation in Thetis, although some scholars dispute that claim to civilization. It is perhaps the most physically isolated of all the kingdoms of Thetis. To the east is the Amaranthine Ocean, to the north the Waking Sea, and to the south the Korkari Wilds, which in the summer months are a vast peat bog, and in the winter become a treacherous labyrinth of iced over waterways. The Frostback Mountains guard the western border, and only a narrow plain between the mountains and the sea allows travel between Ferelden and Orlé. Most of the land in the central portion of the kingdom, called the Banorn, is open plains. These are crossed by the remnants of an ancient Tevinter highway that once connected Val Royale with Ostagar on the edge of the Korkari Wilds. The western part of Ferelden is dominated by Lake Kalanhad, a huge caldera fueled by the runoff of glaciers from nearby mountains. Lake Kalanhad is home to the famed Fortress of Redcliffe, as well as the Circle Tower, which houses Ferelden's Circle of Magi. In the east is the vast Brazilian forest, which is the superstitious locals profess to be haunted, and from which rises the Dragon's Peak, a solitary mountain that guards the capital city of Denerim. Nice. There's some geography for you. The Vanity Cabinet. First, you always keep your ice arrows in the Vanity Cabinet. That's what I always say. Perfect. Okay, so there is a second floor to explore. There is there is more to explore in this uh, castle area, and we will probably continue to do so next time so we're going to bring this episode of dragon age origins to a close a lot has happened the battle for red cliff the village uh we, we we saved the village and then we've got whatever else is going on here but there's so much more here to do there's more dungeon and basement stuff over here this takes us to the courtyard so we will see what we can explore here. I might not explore it yet, just in case I accidentally stumble across Connor and maybe we should just head to the Circle of Magi, but we will see how that goes. So thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Dragon Age Origins. Having an absolute blast and I can't wait for more. I'll see you then.